Welcome back, you grade three clever children and mums and dads. Our topic today is water. Activity one, the water cycle. The water cycle, also known as the hydraulic cycle, is the process by which water moves from place to place above, on and below the Earth's surface. This is the process by which water moves around the Earth to different places. Some new big words for you, Grade Threes. Evaporation is the process by which water is converted from its liquid state to the gaseous state, also known as water vapour. In other words, water leaves the Earth's surface and enters the atmosphere as a gas. Condensation is the process by which water vapour is changed back into liquid water. Condensation is very important to our weather and climate because it is what is responsible for cloud formation. Precipitation is water released from clouds in the form of rain, freezing rain, sleet, snow or hail. Most pre precipitation falls as rain. Please use a dictionary to look up words you do not understand. Look at this picture and discuss the water cycle with your family. Draw your own water cycle. Make your own key and put in the numbers. Activity 2. Water bending pencil experiment. You will need a glass of water, two-thirds full, a pencil. Place a pencil in the water, placing it so that it is tipped to one side. Look through the front of the glass and notice that the pencil is bent. Wow! The science behind it. Light bends when it passes through one substance to another of a different density. The light is first travelling through the air and then it passes through the water. Since the water is more dense than the air, the light rays bend in the water. Activity 3. How to save water. We must save water as water is life. 71% of earth is covered with water, but only 1% of it is drinkable. So therefore we must save water. Take shorter showers. Turn the shower on, wet yourself, turn it off. Soap yourself, rinse and you're done. Showering once a day and filling up less water in your bath can solve, save a lot of water. Use a basin in the shower. Collect all the water you showered with and use this to flush your toilet. Reduce the amount of water you use when flushing the toilet. Lift the toilet handle immediately when flushing and only flush if needed. Check all taps are turned off properly and leaking taps must be fixed. Burst pipes must be reported. How to reuse water? Use a bucket or drum to save runoff from your roof. Water the plants with cool pasta water. Reuse the water you washed your vegetables with. Collect water from your air conditioner to water the plants. Reuse the water which is used to wash clothes, bath tubs, washing machines, etc. in the garden to water the plants or to clean the bathrooms and floors. 
Tell your family how to save water. Make posters of how to reuse and save water. Stick these posters on the walls around you so all can see. More fun! Be a policeman at home and at school by checking who is not turning off taps and who is wasting water. But don't get cross with them. Just remind them and close the taps yourself. Chat to your teachers about saving water by monitoring how much water is used. And lots more.